The number one reason you might not want to buy a 5090. Believe it or not, in my opinion, it's not the price. The actual reason I don't like 5090. Heat. The TDP. That's my problem. So if you take my 2080 Super, the TDP of my 2080 Super is 250 watts. And that's actually good. 250 watts, that's great. And I'm talking about heat produced by my PC. I'm not talking about electrical bills. That, that's a separate discussion. <laughs> I'm talking about heat. I don't have AC in my room and 250 watts is fine. My 3090 produces 380 watts. This is exactly the reason because 380 watts, that's a lot. My PC gets pretty hot and pretty loud because of 380 watts. But 5090, it's 575. It's 575 watts. Okay, if you undervolt it, maybe you can get it to around 500 watts. But that's still too, too insane. This system may pretty well pull like a kilowatt of power. Kilowatt of power from the wall and a kilowatt of power of heat produced. Let's check the wattage from the wall. It is very close to kilowatt. Now it's 880, almost 900. So that's insane. That produces a lot of heat. Let me show you what a kilowatt of heat actually means. That's a kilowatt of heat. I don't really want to have a system like this next to me, basically blowing into my face all day long. That's insane. So. What I actually need to do, I need to install an AC into my house, into my flat, in order to use the system. Either this, or I put my PC outside of my house, so it's just breathing outside and it's crazy, I cannot do it. So the other option, the third one, is just not to buy it, you see? You see where I'm headed? On top of that, you have melting connectors, lots of information already out. And on top of that, you've got your whole system that heats up too much, way too much. All the components heat up because of this. Your motherboard heats up. General system may become unstable. This is crazy. This is not like some heavy mining equipment, right? This is a computer. It's not a server grade computer. It's a household DIY computer for people just to use 